Okay, guys, I just saw a movie that blew my mind, and I'm, like, frazzled right now as to what I just saw. Uh, wow. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Beyond the Void Horror Podcast. My name is Alex, and today we're going to be doing a spoiler-free review of a movie that was suggested to me by multiple people on TikTok called The Coffee Table. Just came out on DVD on the 16th, and I ordered a copy and got it here today. Okay, so I need to be upfront about this because I want to clarify a few things. One. I will not spoil this movie for you in the least. I'm not gonna play a trailer. I'm not gonna post any pictures. I'm not even gonna tell you how many characters there are in the movie. I'm going to keep this to a minimum because I want you to experience this film. This movie is called The Coffee Table. It's about some people who buy a coffee table and that's all you're gonna need to know, period. So I popped it in and um, blown away. And believe me, I've seen some of the most bizarre, messed up, stupid, trash, like movies. I've seen it all. And I had to see this movie because it was causing some reactions from a lot of reviewers who have also seen a lot of movies. It's about a coffee table called The Coffee Table, as a matter of fact. And you're just going to have to trust me on this. I want to be clear, and I said this in my TikTok video, this is not one of those, you know, kind of movies that's supposed to be so graphically disturbing. It's disturbing, but it's what they do to handle the situation well after this incident that happens early on in the film. It's done so masterfully that it's 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 become very quickly one of my favorite movies this year because I have never experienced that kind of tension and or story or 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 feeling before it's it's not a great feeling but i'm a sucker for anything that makes me like go to some depth of some some way about a film as long as it's done well and i am bubbling about this film because of how crazy it made me feel this movie holds your emotions pinning it to the ground with just some of the most intense tension while jamming its dark humor in your side, twisting it slowly with every conversation, every character that you meet afterwards, every situation, every single thing they say is just a sick, twisted reminder of this horrific incident. And it it's like, the director was like, let's just throw salt on the wound. It's just anxiety riddled turn after turn in the story, in the dialogue that is like, it's like it's taunting you to say, do you remember? It just gets worse and worse and worse as it goes on until you just want to explode. I personally think that if you are to make a film and you are looking to nail that atmosphere or that tension in, in very minor, tiny ways in dialogue or camera work or whatever, I highly recommend that you watch this movie to get an understanding of how to masterfully command an emotion out of the viewer tragedy that occurs in the beginning of this movie is it's messed up but it's not the most messed up thing i've ever seen this isn't one of those like gore fest movies just go into this movie and watch it you don't need to know a freaking thing about it there was moments in this film that i was manic and just like laughing in a way not because of what was happening but because 
it was just so much to handle that I didn't know what to do. It's wild, man. Like, I, I don't know what else to say about it other than just go see it. Apparently, this is playing on the 19th in California. There's like one screening. There's one in New York. And then it's coming out like May 19th to digital. But you can literally go pick up the DVD right now. It only has a DVD as it stands right now. And if you want a copy like I did, it was like $18.98 with free shipping. So about 20 bucks. I picked it up instantly because I was like something special about this and I gotta see it. I'll put a link down if you wanna get it for yourself. Uh, but yeah, this is by director Kaye Casas, by the way, who has done other films of this nature. Uh, he did another movie that was really popular or at least like memorable like this one because I'll never forget this movie called Killing God, which I, I definitely want to watch next because I want to see what his other films are like, but they may be one of my favorite directors. It's certainly one of my favorite films this year. I don't know. I have to watch it again later on, but I urge you to check it out. It's upsetting, but it's not going to be so you know off bounds you know it's something that i've talked about in the past that that we as americans don't normally touch a lot of people in argentina and spain which this is a spanish film are totally fine doing <laughs> i am in kind of awe of this director right now i'm so off all over the place guys like seriously i i was gonna drink some coffee just to stay awake for this film didn't need it i feel like i'm on like seven cups of coffee right now and it's like two in the morning i challenge all of my reviewer friends to watch this movie and support it because i'm telling you you will have never seen a movie or felt a movie like this in your entire life it is something else man it may not be everyone's favorite film but it definitely did something for me so i'm giving this one like a nine maybe even a 10 out of 10. it affected me like i and not in the like cheap gimmicky way not like in the cheap gore you know anybody can do it way no this is something different than that this is well done in a way that is just it's heavy it's heavy and i love it because of it not not because of what's in the movie not what happens or anything i'm not a sick fuck okay i'm just a, i like movies that make me feel something and this one really did it so trust me on this this movie will change you you will never forget it and I guarantee you by the time you're done watching this, you're going to be like, holy shit. And it's not even going to be just because of the one thing or the couple things that you see in this movie it does have gore in it. It does have some blood and stuff in it, but just watch it. Trust me on this. I, I think literally this may be my favorite film this year, but I got to watch the other ones again to see. So anyway, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to try to edit this and get this up as soon as possible for you guys. Like I said, it came out in 2022. It's out now coming to America on DVD only or on digital in a month. So whatever you choose to do, I highly recommend you pick up a copy. If you if you know me well enough, I think it'd be a pretty safe bet. I, I Like I said, I'm at like a, a, at a nine, maybe of a, a 10. I hope you enjoyed this review. If it, if it gave you any clue, thank you, Chuck, and everybody who told me about this film. I'm just sharing it, passing it to you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Well, enjoy is a weird word, but I hope you experience it like I did. Thanks for coming by, and as always, long live the void. void.